Uh, I wouldn't normally do this. Um, raises a lot of questions as far as legality. So, um, I'm going to do it anyway. We've got a Subaru Impreza here. It's only a few years old and it's P420 catalyst efficiency codes. You can get it to re repeat pretty quickly. You clear the codes, raise the RPM up for a few minutes and it pens almost almost straight away. The rear O2 switching pretty well the same as you'd expect the front one to. This is the um, design of the system out of the two heads collects. We've got a, I don't know whether you can see that there, we've got a, get the right spot, there's our pre-cat sensor and there's our post-cat and this little tiny bulge here is our cat. There's not much to it. So what we're going to do, well I don't know whether it's going to work to be honest, so we're going to shove one of these in. I'm going to put it, put it in place and raise the O2 out of the stream. Yeah, I know. Anyway, I'm going to do it. The replacement cat for this is an available aftermarket. It's a fair chunk of pipe. It goes all the way down to a joint back there. As I say, not available aftermarket. We're looking a little bit over two grand to buy it from the dealer. The dealer's got a, a ton of them in stock apparently, so there's a good chance this may not work. But we'll give it a try, see what happens. This is our rear O2 sensor. You've got a nice hot engine there now, she's revving nice and hot. We'd have that oxygen sensor and cat well and truly hot enough. Cat's not working very well at all. Alright, so here we are with our, our funny looking adapter in place. You can see that there or not. Okay, so let's um, see if that's made any difference. Highly sceptical and really not fussed about the idea of doing this. We've installed the, the spacer in the exhaust, raised that rear oxygen sensor up out of the stream. I've gone for a run, got it nice and hot. You can see here we've got a very stable rear oxygen sensor now so we should have success in, in stopping that PO420 from flagging. Uh, I'm not going to get into the, the rights and wrongs and what's legal and what's not. We don't have emission checks in Australia at this stage, well not in New South Wales anyway, um, so there's, it's not going to be found to be a, an issue but yeah, I agree that it, it shouldn't be done but this lady's on a limited income. She's the car's only got it's only got fifty thousand kilometres on it. She's already up for two and a half thousand dollar engine pipe because Subaru don't know how to design a proper catalytic converter. So you know it's, it's your decision whether you think this was the right thing or the wrong thing to do. But this is a fix in my eyes. Um, I'm sure we'll have a happy lady. A couple of hundred dollars as opposed to a couple of thousands. Of, 
pretty good fix in my book. So, of course, if I was in California, it'd be a different story. I wouldn't wouldn't entertain something like this. It wouldn't be in there for very long at all. But um, over here, we're we're a little slack. We've got a great looking rear oxygen sensor there now. It still respond, so we can. The ECU is going to think that there's activity going on there. But when it when it when it runs the PO420 code, I'm pretty sure you'd find that it'd be checking that code during a cruise condition with a stable engine speed, and we're going to have a good result during that time. So anyway, there it is. It worked.